it's important to put a name to some of the victims of the witch trials. Campaigner Kate Stewart has been doing just that, and I'm meeting her in the nearby village of Torryburn to find out about Lilius Aidy, who in 1704 was tortured for supposed witchcraft, but died before trial. Kate, this is a beautiful, peaceful beach, and it feels like the perfect place for you to tell me all about Lilius. The story goes that um, Lilius was drinking with a group of people and um, there was a fallout and one of them was ill and she accused Lilius of causing her harm, of causing her the ill health. She didn't have a trial. She died about a month later, about the end of August. And um, that caught them unaware. They didn't expect that. She was an ordinary woman. They were innocent, they were victims. So, Kate, why are we here on this beautiful beach? We're here because Lilith is buried here. I can't see a, a grave anywhere. What am I looking for? You're looking at the sandstone slab there. So that rectangular slab there, that's her grave? Yes. Fearing witchcraft from beyond the grave, locals placed a quarter-ton slab on top with the belief it would keep Lilius in. Look how horrible it is. Why did they bury her there? They had a belief then, and it was a strong belief, that witches couldn't cross water. And they, were, they had a fear of water. So they buried her there to prevent her coming back and coming after them. We're as close as we can get, as the ground around is unsafe. Anyone coming here is best to pay their respects from afar. Sometimes the most important places in Scottish history aren't signposted. You can't pay an entrance fee to them. In fact, you could easily miss them. And sometimes some of the most important places are just out of reach. <laughs> 